As I travel the country as a speaker, I'm talking to audiences, it might be for Fortune 500 companies, it might be for nonprofits, military bases, regardless. It's a wonderful opportunity because I look out and I see those individuals out there and each of those individuals represents a family. So there's a huge responsibility and opportunity to impact their lives in a positive way because I want to educate people. I want to give them the true facts on what they're dealing with, whether it's money, leadership, or business. Then I want to encourage them to be able to take that information and begin to apply it to their own individual situation. You know, in dealing with money, people often think that it's, it's head knowledge. It takes this sophisticated knowledge to be able to succeed. Now, I've got a master's degree, so I've studied business, I've studied communications, I know money. But at the end of the day, to be able to succeed, to me it's not so much head knowledge, it's the behavior. See, it's what you do day in and day out. It doesn't take a master's degree, it doesn't take a doctorate. What it does take is someone that's willing, someone that's willing to be focused, willing to be connected on it, and willing to do what it takes to win financially. So it's, it can be done. We're seeing school teachers pay off homes. We're seeing bus drivers pay off homes. We help people win with money. And when I'm standing on the stage and I look out and I see people, I see the light bulbs go off. I see people realizing that, you know what, I can do this. When I talk to people out around the country and they say, Chris, you don't understand, I'm busy. I'm like, no, no, you don't understand. I know busy, okay, my three boys keep me busy. But at the end of the day, we have to have this concept of priorities. We have to understand that I don't wanna just manage my time, I wanna have time ownership. That's why I own my time, and I want to spend my time just like I spend my money. I want to spend it on a budget. There are always items, whether it's cell phones or tablets, buzzing, ringing, and dinging. There's something making noise all the time. And so we have to be aware of there's time to unplug. There's time to literally put these things down and focus on the task at hand. There's emails dinging, voicemails ringing. You always got something going on. But if you can't have tunnel vision and know that I have to be focused in an area, you'll never make progress. So I love talking to people about how, is there a time to connect and is there a time to disconnect? It's important to know the difference. See, I understand the principles of teamwork. I've played sports all my life in high school as a state champion, in college as a national champion. I understand that one individual can't do it by themselves. It takes a team, but the team has to be on the same page. You have to have a game plan. The only way you can win is to get all the individuals to understand their role, have a game plan, and then you have to execute. You have to be willing to sacrifice and push forward with the right actions. Now, I also had the opportunity to coach. What I learned in coaching is, is you have to meet people right where they are. You have to give them the information the way they need it to feel inspired, to feel connected, and to feel like that they can help the team get better. I see myself as a catalyst. I see myself as an encourager. See, if I can get the leaders to believe in themselves and to reach down deep and get some of the skills that they have or acquire some skills that they don't have, they can go back and then begin to move their team in the direction that they want to go. For example, like with a conductor with an orchestra. No music is played, not a sound is made until that conductor moves his wand. And to me, in the business world, you business leaders, you are the conductor. No movement happens until you start to move the wand, until you start to get the people on the team moving in the right direction. I love that opportunity to give people that breath of fresh air, that little bit of encouragement that they need to keep pushing. At the end of the day, I want people to be prepared. I want them to be able to take steps proactively to help themselves and to be aware of what's going on in their world.